So right off the bat, um, we knew we wanted to kind of build, so like, a little like history. Um, there was another band that Riley and I did some work for, and that was like kind of how we started writing together. Um, and so we kind of built on that work that we'd done together and knew that we wanted to like take it a little bit further and like space is a big like interest of ours and like what's going on with space travel and like so how do we turn that into a sound um and i think we kind of like we captured that idea this is a cool little arp um i built this in a, a program called reason it's just a nice little just a nice nice little like fm synth that i put an arp on the the real thing about it is this uh, this delay by Sound Toys that I'm using that's like not only modulating things and like throwing a chorus and stuff on it, but it's also, it's kind of like bouncing it back and forth between each side intentionally. So I was like able to like tell it, I want you to focus on the right for a couple beats and then hit the left side once and then mm. bounce back and then sit over here for a minute. Like I can program those you know i kind of let riley flesh out the whole feel of the song we just kind of get a general structure and then i fill in the gaps and i love like the little ear candy or ways to switch up traditional things a lot of this percussion that comes in right in the pre-chorus tell me what you think about the future That just gives a little like bubble to the track, you know what I mean? If we go back out into the main mix, what does that do? Like, Just a little lift to that beat, right? Like if they weren't there, you still got the kick and that like arped, uh, where's that other little? They play with each other really well. And then you put these in here. My favorite part of this song, everybody notice it, notices it, but it's subconscious. We switch the beat up on you from like the intro of the song into the chorus. There's that like heartbeat kick, right? There's this like kind of kick here. And that's got a, like distinct flow to it but then we like change into a very like different hard beat for the chorus so it goes from being like kind of laid back almost like behind the beat a little bit to that kit that like drum kit addition just helped like it's just ahead of the beat and just kind of helps its energy without adding like a whole bunch of extra like calamity um let's jump a little bit deeper in the song the bridge has a kind of a cool little like guitar riff. And obviously you want to finish the phrase, but instead of like writing another line to it, I threw this little like vocal thing in there. And that's just a sample of, I think it was just the girl going, ah, and I just like chopped it up, ba -ba -ba -ba, hit it a couple times. Put a bunch of effects on it, some delay. But yeah, put it all back together and it sounds pretty cool. Took rhythms from trap music and then put them with instruments that kind of fit in better than the traditional trap. to kind of really peel the curtain back on this, Gravitate and Vanilla don't have live drums at all. Like it's all programmed like samples and stuff, which I mean, that is what it is, right? We didn't really have the ability to record drums, right. but I think we pulled that off really well. 